Well, the idea of congestion pricing had some people wondering if they could even continue to afford living or working in the tri-state. And others were hoping it would fix a slew of problems. So tonight, relief and concern on both sides of the issue. Eyewitness News reporter Anthony Carlo has that part of our coverage. The light has turned red on congestion pricing and in Times Square and the city's bustling theater district. That means some restaurant owners are pouring a glass for themselves tonight. It was another effort to be anti-business, but someone came to their common sense and I'm very happy with the news. Misery is what Paul Barbet says his establishment, Hurley Saloon, endured during the pandemic. And just when he got his head above water, an added expense for customers loomed. There are going to be less people coming into the city, driving the city, hence less people parking across the street from us then we would lose that flow of revenue. What would the impact be on people driving in to see a Broadway show? Brenda Jones from Staten Island wouldn't be headed to the theater as often as she'd like. I think it's out of my price range, $15, just to come to Manhattan. A spokesperson for the Broadway Association writing, please join me in thanking Governor Hochul for listening and responding to our many concerns of how the proposed rollout of congestion pricing would not only negatively impact the recovery of New York's tourism, but also the hundreds of hospitality workers driving through Manhattan every day and night. Theater security guard Joe Ayala does so from the Bronx. If it was to go through, it's another $4,000 a year out of my pocket. My salary didn't change. Not everyone is applauding the decision to pause the plan that would have funded urgent upgrades to mass transit. It needs improvement. I mean, I use it 100%. The partnership for New York City, which represents its business leaders and largest employers, writing, the toll revenues would amount to only $1 billion a year, which is far less than the $20 billion cost of lost productivity, overtime, and fuel expenses, environmental and health costs that are the result of excess traffic congestion on the city streets. The people we've spoken with who drive tell me they'll end up eating the cost and still drive. They don't want to take public transit. Safety concerns are paramount. In Midtown, Anthony Carlo, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.